Hello, Namaste. This is Dr. Ravi Kiran Baregala. I'm an infectious disease specialist in Apollo Hospitals. So today I will be talking about influenza. What are some of the features of influenza? Like what are some of the signs and symptoms? How do you test for influenza? What are some of the treatment options available? And how we can prevent it uh, from getting to others and how we can prevent transmission to other people also. So influenza is a virus, it causes infections in human beings. So it's a particular type of virus, there are hundreds, billions really of viruses around. This is the one particular type of virus which causes upper respiratory type of uh, symptoms in uh, human beings. Some of the symptoms of influenza are upper respiratory type of symptoms which is cold, runny nose, headaches, maybe sinus pressure, uh, sometimes sore throat, maybe irritation or itching in your throat. Uh, if it goes down into your lungs, you will start having more cough, you will start having maybe breathing problems and then you will feel very weak and tired, maybe muscle aches, body aches, joint pains, you will have a very poor appetite. Some people also have nausea, vomiting or even diarrhea, some cramping in your stomach and just generalized fatigue which is a lot more than what you would expect from just a common cold or a runny nose type of uh, viruses. So it's actually very difficult to differentiate between common cold and influenza. Influenza is generally a more severe form of a common cold where you have more severe cough, cold, more weakness, uh, tiredness, body pains. Generally, you may not have such level of body pains and weakness and tiredness with a common cold. You should contact your doctor when you're really having bad symptoms or if you know that there's a lot of influenza in the community because the sooner you diagnose it, the sooner you can take medicines. So influenza is treated primarily through a medication called Oseltamivir. That is generally the standard medications all around the world. There are some alternative medications in other countries also, but Oseltamivir is the first line medications. Influenza can rarely have certain other complications. So if you get it in your lungs, your lungs may become so bad that your oxygen levels will drop. Then you will start having breathing troubles, a very severe cough that will require hospitalization. If you are very, very severe, then you may end up uh, with oxygen, uh, like uh, with a tube or very, very bad. Then you will need to be on a mechanical ventilation or of intubation with a mechanical ventilation for a few days. Yes, you can prevent influenza. There is a very good vaccine for it. It's called a quadrivalent vaccine, which means it has four different strains of influenza within the same vaccine. And they collect all the information from all around the world to find out what are the circulating strains of influenza. Um, based upon that, they will create a vaccine, a new vaccine actually every single year. And that vaccine is generally given before the flu season. So sometime between August to October, November, that's when you give it because the flu or influenza is most common in the winter season uh, in the northern hemisphere. And uh, at that time, if you give it, the protection will last for another six to nine months. It's a, just a simple vaccine. It's just one, one injection that you can take and it will give you a long duration of protection. But you have to take another vaccine every single year. So actually most people should get influenza vaccine. The recommendations are different in different countries. Like in West, like in US, they recommend everybody should get it. Only people um, who should not get it, they should be excluded. Like people who have allergies to the influenza vaccine or they've had really some bad problems if they took the vaccine for influenza. Only those are excluded. Other than that, everybody else.
there's actually very few conditions only people who should not get influenza vaccine are people who have had a very severe problem after they have taken influenza vaccine some things like a, a disease called Guillain-Barre syndrome which means it's like a paralysis of the whole body or the lower extremities people who've had like anaphylactic reactions in which your face your mouth your eyes everything swell up you cannot breathe or people who had such severe allergic reaction where there is lots of redness associated and a lot of pain um, associated with this vaccine anaphylactic type of reactions those people should not get the influenza vaccine it's extremely rare almost like one in one lakh or so or even less than that Well, it's because their immunity is low. As we age, our immunity goes down. And as our immunity goes down, our body's ability to fight the infection goes down. So they may have more severe illness. So they will have more problems with lungs, with their breathing, with their heart or other organ problems. Same things with other immunocompromised too. So they may land up in the hospital, they may land up in the ICU or sometimes they might die. So the, most of the deaths that we see, almost all the deaths actually that we see associated with influenza are among the elderly or people who have other chronic medical problems. So you should contact your doctor or healthcare provider if you have influenza or you're suspecting that you have influenza because you should be tested soon and you should be started on treatment soon. Treatments work best if started within the first two or three days only. If the treatments are started later, it may not be very helpful. So the flu season in the northern hemisphere is usually in the winter months in this in this uh, hemisphere so it starts usually from about september october onwards depending upon where you are in the northern hemisphere like in india usually the flu season starts probably in november or so maybe december the highest cases that we see in india is in december and january So you should go back to work once you're fully recovered from influenza. Influenza is a very infectious condition. Just like COVID, we say one week of isolation. So it's almost similar. So if you have influenza, you should better stay at home so that you do not infect other people. You should be completely out of your symptoms, especially the um, cough, cold type of symptoms and maybe fever to prevent infection to others and also to give your body a rest to recover. The best time to get influenza vaccine is before the flu season, usually between August to September, maybe October or so, because it will prevent the influenza in that flu season. You can even take the vaccine later on, maybe December or even January, if there are lots of uh, influenza cases, because the vaccine will take maybe two more weeks to start acting. So it's better to take earlier than later. So the difference between the two of them is that uh, it's only a test. Uh, symptoms wise, it's almost impossible to differentiate both of them. Yes, it is possible to have both of them at the same time. We have seen a few cases like that and others have also reported that from across the world. It's quite uncommon. I think it's less than 1% of my cases had both at the same time. Um, I think uh, COVID-19 and influenza are two different things. Unless the influenza or COVID-19 has damaged your lungs quite a bit, then you are more likely to get a severe infection with either one in the next time. Yes and no, there are a few tests which can detect both of them, but they're not uh, really readily available around here. So that is not something that we can just order and get it for both at this point of time. We can only do two things 
separately at this point. Influenza is a separate test, COVID-19, the approved test, both are two different tests, so you have to do both uh, separately. So today you learned about influenza, uh, what are some of the features of influenza, what are some of the signs and symptoms, how can you get it, um, how do you test for it, how do you treat it, how do you prevent it, how do you uh, take vaccines, who needs vaccines, what are some of the complications of the vaccines, when to seek advice, and when can you stay safe. So these are the whole things that we can learn about influenza. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Thank you. Namaste.